I guess uh, overall thoughts, uh, kind of up and down. You win, so you're, I'm sure you're happy, but the way it ended, not not what you want. Yeah, no, it. I don't know. I also had a bad feeling. It just, you know, we had half a guys going, half a guys didn't really go, and we were, you know, we were lucky enough to to have that that little cushion. <clears throat> Excuse me, in a, in the third period, uh, they came back and. You know, they deserve the point. They're just lucky enough to get the win, and I'm happy about that. But, you know, some guys were just, you know, it was just not good enough. And unfortunately, because we control the game for the most part, and he just cannot give a game up, uh, game up like that. And that's, that's why I'm a little bit about it. Akil, uh, I mean, he seems he's given you everything that you need from him this season so far, goals and back-to-back -back nights. Just uh, how are you feeling about his game right now? No, he's great. You know, he's uh, he understands his role and he, he, he works extremely hard and he's uh, and we need him, right? Especially with Turk got out and and even some other guys. Um, but he's been great. He's, you know, he's the only guy who's who's plus uh, over 50% uh, of face-offs. He kills, he's on the PP. So, you know, he's been great. I, I really uh, like how he played uh, as a player. He still thinks that he has more to give, you know, he's, <laughs> uh, offensively speaking. Yeah, that's him, you know. But I also got to tell him sometimes, okay, you're not, maybe you're not that kind of guy too. And and uh, uh, again, he, if I see a guy like him and he wants to crack, uh, and everyone, they all have dreams, right, to play uh, for the Kings, and, and they should. And But if he plays for the Kings, they're not looking for goals. They're looking for face-offs. They're looking for kills. They're looking um, just to re, just to be uh, reliable uh, in every situation, and and that's why I, I want him to be. I don't want him to be like Tynan. I want him to be like Akil Thomas, and who does everything right, and and a guy I can trust. How hard is that message though to deliver? He's still a young guy, right? I mean, he has multiple years as a pro, but um, he's still a for young me player. it's easy, right? <laughs> not for him, probably not. You know, he smiles about it, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, but I, I, again, it's it's different maybe here. He wants to, obviously, it's the minors, and he wants to produce more than and than any other league, but uh, he's fine. You know, he's totally fine. He, I'm not going to, uh, yes, you know, I'm not going to look. I don't even know how many points, honestly, he has. I don't even know how many goals he has. I don't really care. What I care is... Uh, uh, that, that trust factor I have and, 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 and put him out there in every situation when I needed to. And uh, and uh, that's, for me, it's more important than anything else. Fagamo obviously has been consistent since returning, but are you seeing a different player than what you saw last year in any other aspect besides, you know, consistently scoring every night, it seems yeah, like? I, I think so. I really think so. He, he came in with a different mindset and you know, he had a chance in, uh, not here, but he had a chance in uh, in Nashville. Uh, unfortunately, um, didn't work out. And, you know, since he's back again, he's been he's been awesome. Um, I really like, you know, especially on the power play, but overall he's, uh, you know, it's not easy for him either. Being back here again and, you know, so he's still hoping for a chance too. But, you know, he's, he's been definitely a way bigger threat than he was last year.